everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft and thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun card using the dome plastic um, kind of cups. Um, we received this in the July Hobby Base kit, so I'm going to show you how I've used it for this particular card. So we received this also this card that it matches, so it all fits in there and I'll share all the links to the supplies in my video description below. We've got five sheets of six by six paper in the kit, so I've pulled this nice, like, kind of, you know, uh, greeny aqua color, and it's got kind of waves on it. So I'm going to be doing some water coloring for the animals, the, the fish, and I'm using the Strathmore with the stays on ink so that the watercolor doesn't bleed and the stays on the black stays nice and crisp and doesn't ruin your image. So I'm stamping the whale, the crab, the starfish and the two little fish and then I'm just bringing in my watercolors there come in a bit closer so you can see and just go around and highlight the darker sides to all of the little critters there so you can see that this is obviously fast speed because I didn't want you to sit there and watch every little bit but you can see now I've gone over with the dry pencil and now I'm bringing in my water and I'm just pulling out that color into the little stamped images there and you will have that blended look and then I'm going back in again with my dry pencil and then I add a little bit more water back in with my dry pencil a bit more water and that's the lovely thing about watercolor is that you can just keep adding to it dry it add to it dry it and I'm just heat setting it there and even after that I did go in again but you can see now how great they look and watercolor is my preferred colouring method I do enjoy it now also what I did do is I covered them all with um, glossy accents you can see there they're shiny so I wanted them to look like they were wet so again for that underwater kind of uh, look now what I've done there is I have found a nest of dies and I've drawn around the one that matches the same size as the plastic cup that we received and then I'm just going over this with my pencils in green and blue to create a nice sea colour to match the paper that I pulled out earlier. And again, I just heat set it. Then I go back in again with the dry pencil, heat set it again, and just keep kind of building it up until I'm happy that I've got this kind of nice, slightly darker on the bottom, and then blends out to a lighter colour for, you know, to represent the top of the, the sea. So I keep doing that a few times. I think I must have done it about four or five times, but it just goes to show, you know, you can, as long as you dry it in between each, uh, you know, step, then um, you can add as much as you want. So um, just keep doing that until you're kind of happy. And you can also lift colour off still as well. So that's now all in place. My little critters are all coloured. They've all got their glossy accents, all of them. So now I can start to place them within that circle because I know that that's the area that I have once that uh, cup is over the top. So I've got my two little fishes at the top. I wanted them to look like they're kind of like passing each other and chatting. And then the other ones are on the, the kind of seabed and then the, the whales, the main one. One of the other stamps, this is from the uh, Under the Sea for the Lover Stamps by Hunky Dory. So this one here is just like the, the sea grass, I guess. And I just popped a load of those along the bottom just to make the crab and the starfish look like they've got kind of somewhere to sit. And then I'm just going to go and pop little bubbles coming out of all the fish and the crab and the starfish. The idea was that they're kind of all chatting to each other. <laughs> the fish are swimming past each other and then the whales in the middle. So I'm mounting them all on some foam just because it gives it dimension but also it does look like they're floating so they've got that wet look from the glossy accents and then them all being lifted with that foam just you know when you do see it close up it really does look really effective and obviously once that domes over the top you can see there they just look much better so I pop that on there and it just catches on the starfish just on his little feet I guess so fortunately these ones I can peel off and then I just have to lift him up just a little bit higher which is fine. So again just test it just to make sure it all sits in there 
where you want it. So next I need to start getting it all stuck together. So I'm bringing in the card base now just to kind of just check it's all okay and I want to have the pattern paper there from the kit as a border. So I actually need to cut down that white piece with the circle just so that then that's smaller. The white, the pattern piece I've already cut down and then that will be framed with the card base itself. So first of all I'm going to get the dome stuck down so I'm just using my quarter inch red tape just to go around that inside lip so that then I can just stick it over the top of the image. So just go all the way around there, make sure it's all stuck down and then peel that off. And then I'm just using that pencil mark that I created earlier as my guide and just get that all nicely stuck down. Use your bone folder just to go around, make sure there's no air bubbles and that red tape will go clear when it's completely stuck to the surface that you're using it for. So I'm just doing that now just to make sure that's all set. You can use this for shaker cards perfectly as well. I didn't want to do that because it would get stuck behind the characters, the critters, because I've obviously popped them onto some foam. So I'm just taking off the bulk because that watercolour card is very, very thick, 300 plus GSM. So now I'm gonna trim down my papers. So the pattern piece is already now at five and three quarters squared. So this I want to bring down to five and a half inches squared. Now you have to do that on each side and you have to take a quarter of an inch off of each side. Don't go taking half an inch, um, you know, sorry, don't go and take one of the amounts off of one side because it will make your circle completely lopsided. So now you can see I've got that nice quarter inch frame and then when that's sat on the card base, it's got a nice frame again. So now I just need to get it all stuck down. So I'm applying now that same red tape to the front lip of the dome, exactly the same way that I did before. And then that one now can be stuck down to that white piece. So just make sure that you've got everything lined up. It's all facing in the right direction. And then when you're happy, just stick that over the top. And again, just go around, make sure that's really, really stuck down. Now, because the watercolor card again, as I said, was very thick, it's actually raised very slightly off of that background card. So what I'm going to do is just add the glue just to the circle. And then there's just that little bit of dimension from it. Because if you add the glue on the corners as well, you'll end up seeing a ring and it will just obviously end up you know, ruining your card. So this has got another little bit of dimension. And then once that's all stuck down, I'm going to apply some foam adhesive to the back of that whole piece as you can see now and get that stuck down so there is lots of dimension for this it does come with an envelope but it's much better to go in a box envelope you don't want to crush that dome especially if you're posting it so I will link some of the um, box tutorials that would maybe work with this card so again then I'm just making sure it's really really stuck down it's a top folding card which I think worked well with this style and you can see there how it looks it just is such a good effect brilliant so now I'm bringing in the glossy accents again and I'm just creating some more bubbles just to kind of bring that wet look to the front of the card. It's a bit of texture and I just think it kind of finishes off and brings that kind of theme of under the, under the sea all together. In the stamp set you also had some funny pun phrases. So the one I'm using on this card is the, your, what was it, splashing? I can't even read what it said now. Have a splashing day, there we go, and I'm just fussy cutting that out. And then again, popping some foam on the back there. And then that is gonna be mounted in the bottom right hand side of the card. And again, it was just another, good to put it on a bit of, you know, lift it with that dimension and uh, just finishes off that card perfectly. So you could put the sentiment inside, of course you can, and you could put, you know, anything you want, but I think, yeah, I think it looks really fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial using the July Hobby Base Kit. If you're interested in subscribing, just check out the links below and you've got until the 21st of August to sign up for September's kit. And again, all, those, all that information will also be shared on my blog. But I will be back again next week with another Hobby Base Kit tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.